Hi everyone, welcome to Vishka Bloom. So in this video, we will be looking at search aim for class 8 packages, maths techno. So we'll begin with the video. So let's discuss the packages of uh, aim for Pearl package first we will discuss, right? So first question, if root a comma root b and a is not equal to b are search such that root a multiplied by root b is equal to x where x is an integer then root a comma root b are. So they are going to be conjugates then only their multiplication one see root a multiplied by root b when it is going to be an integer only when they are conjugates to each other okay now suppose if it is 3 plus root 2 when you multiply with 3 minus root 2 only you are going to get some integer right so that is what x is an integer right so when you want to get an integer here obviously root a and root b must be conjugates to each other or else no x cannot be a integer so what is the option so let's look at the option it is option a correct so next second question we will see the simplest rationalizing factor of fifth root of 128 so this one is very very simple you can try this and the answer is a fifth root of 8 next third question the conjugate of root 3 minus 2 or just the conjugate first write it properly okay so it is going to be minus 2 plus 3 plus root 3 so the final whatever the conjugate it would be minus 2 minus root 3 am i correct so let me just erase this and write the option for this so for third question option is b as you have seen the answer already now for fourth question the number of rationalizing factors of a third is the number of rationalizing factors for a third are infinite. Okay. Next. Fifth question. Statement type of question. Statement A. Every conjugate third is a rationalizing factor. Correct. Whatever the conjugate it is there, it is also called as a rationalizing factor. Because for the first question, root A multiplied by root B. Then root A and root B, if it was an option like we had to choose conjugates only because there it is must right so here they are also rfs only okay rationalizing factor so statement a is correct statement b every rationalizing factor is a conjugate sir. no you can never say that every rationalizing factor need not be a conjugate sir that is why first one we have chosen the option conjugates okay not rationalizing factors so what is it? b is false so what is the answer for fifth one it is c that is a is true and b is false sixth question from here we have passage type of questions here sixth one the rationalizing factor of root three sorry one second root three minus root seven what is the rationalizing factor? Here whatever minus is there it will become plus. That means root 3 plus root 7 is the rationalizing factor for 6th question. Okay. So option is A. Root 3 plus root 7. 7th question we will see. Rationalizing factor for 7 to the power 1 by 3 plus 7 to the power minus 1 by 3. It is nothing but whatever plus is there it is going to become minus as well as we are going to have a minus one so i'll tell the option first for this so it is option d 7 to the power 2 by 3 minus 1 plus 7 to the power minus 2 by 3 okay next eighth question the simplest rationalizing factor of root 108 find this one this very very simple extremely simple question actually so it's a root 3 option b Ninth question, among the following, a pair of conjugate thirds are, so here this is more than one correct answer of type of questions, right? So from here, more than one answer. So, pair of conjugate thirds, just see the option so properly, very, very simple damn question actually. Dead easy questions. Option A, you can see that it is 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3. Obviously, they are, these are conjugates. And, and option B, when you look at it, root 3 plus 2 and root 3 minus 2 these are not conjugates to each other right so leave it next c 
4 plus root 7 and 4 minus root 7. Yes, these are conjugates. And D, you can't find out the conjugate. It's completely incorrect. So, which is the correct option? Option A and option C. Understood? Tenth question. Rationalizing factor for cube root of 2. What is the rational fa rationalizing factor? There are multiple options actually. Now, when you look at the option A, it's cube root of 4. Okay, when you multiply cube to root of 4, 2 to cube to root of 4, what will happen? I'll show that below one second. So, the rationalizing factor for cube to root of 2. Option A is cube to root of 4. Now, when you multiply cube to root of 2, multiply it by cube to root of 4, what is going to happen? 2 force is 8. Cube to root of 8 is 2. So, obviously, it is a rationalizing factor. So, option A is correct only. Next, we will see the second option, B. So, B option is cube to root of 2 itself. Now, cube to root of 2 multiplied by cube to root of 2. What is it? It's cube to root of 4. Now, cube to root of 4, it is not a rationalizing factor. So, B option is completely incorrect. Wrong. Next, C option we will see. Right. So, cube to root of 32. Now, cube to root of 2 multiplied by cube to root of 32. What is it? 64, right? Cube to root of 64. 4 cube is 64. So, cube to root of uh, 64 is 4. So, this is also a correct answer for the question. And D option, let's see. One second, yes. So, D option is cube to root of 256. Now, when you, now this is a task for you. Just multiply this. That is cube to root of 256 multiplied by cube to root of 2. What is this going to be? Cube to root of 6 to is 12. To 5 start as here 1 power is 1 and 1. So 5 to 12, right? So cube to root of 5 to 12, just find it out. Obviously, it is also a right one. So D is also a right one. Everything is correct except B. So what are the options for this? Let's go up. So we have seen that A, C and D are right for options. 11th question. The rationalizing factor for 2 root 2. Okay, 2 root 2. What is all are the correct one? Okay. This uh, for 10th one I have shown, right? Similarly, I am going to do for 11th question and try it. Okay. All are right. So, I am writing all. Okay. So, the pearl package is completed. So, let's move on to emerald package. Now, emerald package was question if cube to root of 4 multiplied by m to root of a is an integer. If it is an integer, then the minimum value of n plus a. What is the minimum value of n plus a you have to find out. So, this question is actually very very simple. Looks very tough but very simple actually. So, I will tell you. First, when this has to be an integer, this n order must be the same. So, it is very simple that n must be equal to 3. Correct. Now, they asked minimum value, right? Minimum value. So, this a, when you multiply with 4, it should be, you know, a cube cube for 3. The cube root for 3. Now, minimum, you see, 4 to is 8. Cube root of 8 is 2. It's an integer, right? So, the minimum value of a will be 2. So, 4 to is 8 and uh, cube root of 8 will be 2. Right. So, now n plus a is 3 plus 2 equal to 5. So, what is the minimum value for this? Option C, that is 5. Clear. Now, read the passage very, very carefully. Okay. First, there are three friends called as Bhavyasri, Samir and Uday. Bhavyasri says that if the product of two thirds is a rational number, then each of, each of them is called as the rationalizing factor of each other. Samir says rationalizing factor of a third is not unique. Uday says if the sum and product of binomial thirds are rational numbers, then each of them is called as a conjugate of each other. Okay, these are three statements which are they are telling. Now, second question is by Bhavyashri's word, the rationalizing factor of root 2 is. What is it? It is root 8. So, when you multiply, right, you are going to get the RF. So, what is the RF for it? root 8 because now root 2 sorry I'm extremely sorry sorry 
two root two or root two both are same. Second root of two and root two both are same. So root two when it is multiplied or two root eight, two eight is sixteen. So second root of sixteen is four. So then only right it will be able to become a rational number. Now if you multiply root nine, no way. Root five, no way. Root six also, no way. So only option is. What is the option? Only root eight is the option. That is option A. Next third question. By Sami's word, the R F of root five is. He says that rationalizing factor of a third is not unique. It should not be unique. Okay, it should be the common. Now, when you multiply five to root uh, root twenty five, it cannot be. When you multiply root five to root five, yes, obviously it is right. So what you are going to do? You are going to select the option B because C it can never happen. Just leave. Okay. Next fourth by Uday's word, the conjugate of three plus root seven is. What is the conjugate? We all know how to find out the conjugate, right? When it is question is three plus root seven, the conjugate will be three minus root seven. We all know this. So what is the answer for this? C. So emerald package is also completed. So let's move on to diamond package and finish off the aim. So diamond package is not much essential actually. These questions are really really tough, and we did not do this actually. So I'm telling the options for each of them. Okay, first one: if p minus root q is equal to four plus root two divided by two plus root two, then p comma q is d. Okay. It is three comma two. Second question: the rationalizing factor for cube root of four plus cube root of eight plus cube root of sixteen is. Its option B: cube root of four minus cube root of. Next matrix match of questions. So the here x and y values are given. So you can add up and subtract, right? So that is easy for you only. So you can simply do this. I'm just revealing the options. Third one: option A and B. Fourth one: option C and D. Fifth one option A and B and sixth one option C and D. Okay, so with this aim four is completed. Thanks for watching our video. So once again, thanks for watching our video. Do like, share, and subscribe to Vishwa Blooms and please support us. Also, don't forget to click the bell icon. So bye bye. See you in the next video.